The compensation agreement would increase police officer pay and benefits over the next five years with the intent of retaining veteran officers and recruiting new ones. Here with the details are my guests, San Diego Police Chief Shelley Zimmerman and Brian Marvel, president of the San Diego Police Officers Association. And Brian, last year, a city funded salary survey found that San Diego uh, Police Department, the pay there, was less than many other law enforcement agencies throughout the state. Specifically, how would this deal fix that problem? Well, what we tried to do was we looked at the market for San Diego police officers, and obviously one of our biggest competitors here in the county, the San Diego Sheriff's Office. So what we tried to do is craft a deal that would make it as competitive as possible under the confines that we had the non-pensionable and pensionable at the end that would make us competitive with the sheriff's office. So on July 1, 2015, there will be no financial incentive for one of our officers to go over there. And we'll talk about the, the finances a little bit more, but Chief Zimmerman, the number of police officers uh, on the force right now is actually less than the city has budgeted for. How many police right. officers do you have and, and, and why are you short? Well, you know, we're budgeted for 2013 right now, but we're trying to get back to 2129, uh, which was the number of budgeted officers before we started the cuts back in 2009. And we're 183 below our budgeted staffing right now. And uh, so, you know, what happened last year, is, as an example, is that we were able to hire 160 officers, but 162 left for a variety of reasons, which included going to other law enforcement agencies. So that's why this is important. In, in, in talking about going to other agencies, because that's part of the, the salary issue yeah. that was brought up in the survey, how many, uh, do you know how many police officers left because they went to other agencies? Yeah, you know, if you take this, this fiscal year right now, and uh, which started on July 1, we've had 16, a minimum, because uh, you're not required to say why, why you've left our police department, but a minimum of 16 have said that they've left for other law enforcement agencies. 14 of the 16 had been local and the majority going to the sheriff's department. Uh, be, did they say because of salary or they didn't say? Because of take-home pay, yes, I no, they, they did say. And it was because of, of the take-home pay, the total compensation. Uh, you know, a lot of the officers had told me that they didn't have to take their kids out of school and all they did was change uniforms. And in many cases, they were making more than $1,000 a month take-home pay. Um, Brand, this deal calls for a 6.6% raise over the next five years. 6.6%. Is that really enough money for uh, San Diego police officers to be competitive with other agencies? Well, the 6.6 .6 covers the last two years of the contract where the actual salary increase is 3.3 .3 for each respective year. That is really what we're talking about. There are other financial incentives through health care, uniform allowance, and time off that actually in the first three years makes it financial for officers to get more take home pay. So the $92 million uh, contract, that's the cost of this contract, $62 million of that I understand is going to be what they say at quote, new cost. So Brian, let me ask you this, what will that money be spent on? Well, that's part of the, the financial incentive during the first three years, it's non-pensionable to actually increase the amount of take home pay that officers get. Part of the last two years, which is the general uh, salary increases, plus some of the bonuses that were incorporated in the first three years, also carry over into the last two years. And, and anything else with that? Uniforms, things like that? Uh, yeah, there's something in here for everybody, because that's correct, is that uh, uniform, uh, additional pay for uniforms, but also for our recruits. There's going to be money in there for our recruits that they don't have to have the outlay of the money for their equipment, for their uniforms. So we're talking about that pay, uh, and I'll direct this to you, Brian, but, but the salary increases actually won't take effect till 2018? That's correct. The, the last two fiscal years is when the salary increases and that's trying to keep it within the confines of what Proposition B, the citizens of San Diego said no pensionable pay raise until after that. So that's when those will kick in. So within those three years, we found other ways and methods to actually increase take home pay for the officers. And Chief Zimmerman, as, as you said, as Brian was saying, this police contract runs through uh, July of this year, right? July of 2015. Uh, the city council and the 1800 uh, union members for the police uh, union need to ratify this deal. Correct. And if they do, when would police officers see their salaries increase and these benefits all kick in fully? After it's, uh, it's ratified by the uh, Police Officers Association for the members to vote on it, then it goes back to city council to vote on it, and then it would take effect on July 1 of 2015. Okay, and Brian, how are the police officers you've spoken to, how are they reacting to this? We're getting, you know, uh, overall, we're getting a very good message from them. I think uh, a lot of them are very supportive of this. Uh, you know, there's some officers that, you know, they don't necessarily see what they would like to see, but the reality is, is we crafted something that was very targeted to make sure that we retain the best officers we have. All right, Police Union President Brian Marvel and San Diego Police Chief Shelley Zimmerman.